Hello everyone, Bon Yuki here again today, and a friend of mine just picked himself up a PC CRT, and he was curious on what kind of video modes he can use and what would be the best way to play his games on there. Honestly, with a CRT, you really can't go wrong as long as you have the space and don't mind the size. So, what I'm doing here is I'm setting up a video. It's honestly for him, but it will apply to anyone else who has a CRT as well. And what we're going to be setting up here is a RetroArch in 240p at 120Hz. To me, it's the pinnacle of what you can do with these old games on a PC CRT. So the first thing we're going to want to do is, depending on your video card, you want to be able to make a mode line or you want to be able to make a resolution setting, custom resolution, to give you the 240p CRT. Um, many different arcade boards back in the day were quote-unquote 240p, but they really only produced 224 lines. That's the way monitors worked back then. So what I'll do here is I'll actually show you guys how to make this um, custom resolution. Now, there's two different ways. You can do it on this Intel. It's really simple. You could just go to custom resolution and you just make one your own. You reset it. Your resolution is there as you come back. But what I like doing is this program here called Custom Resolution Utility, CRU. And I'll show you guys real quick um, how it's used. So I go down to where it says Add. And then you can go here and also say Add. And this is where you put in your settings. So there's CRT, CRT Standard, CVT. There's a whole bunch of different things here. I just go to Manual. And then I'll type in, uh, since I'm using a super resolution of 4K... 3840 by 240 and then I uh, want to change the Hertz to 120 because on this monitor since it requires a 31 kilohertz signal I'll actually have to put in 120 Hertz to give me something that's close to what this monitor can sync to so um, I don't remember the settings for this one off the top of my head but I think this is what it was, 200, and this was 3, this was 10, and that was 8. This monitor is my Apple Studio monitor, and it is basically the um, same monitor that the creator of the RetroTrink products, Mike Chi, has. And this is an excellent monitor, and as you can see here... Now playing around with these guys here, these uh, front porch, sync width, and back porch, I now have close to that 31 kilohertz. So I'll just cancel that out. But you'll have, once you set this up, you'll actually want to go into the uh, fo same folder of where you had the CRU, and you'll want to hit restart or restart 64 depending on your operating system. So once that's set up there, you want to check out your intel and see if that resolution is there and as you can see here now you have 3840 by 240 at 120 hertz now people are probably asking why i go so high um so depending on your adapter you're going to need a high enough pixel clock that will actually let you output an image so i've got this set up here i'm going to say no for now because it makes the screen really really difficult to see but um, you'll do this, and if you change this, it'll change it really bad. It'll be crazy. You'll, you won't be able to see much. And I hit apply anyway. And as you can see here, it's really tough to get to. But if you figure it out, it won't be that bad. Now, I have RetroArch already down here on this um, icon right here. I've already pinned it. So now I'm going to start up RetroArch, and RetroArch looks normal. The reason it looks normal is because I set it up already. I set up our GUI and I set up the resolution. Here, I'll give you guys, we'll go into settings. And because I'm using a GPU that supports Vulkan, I use Vulkan all the time. It's pretty good. So we'll go to output. And you'll see here Vulkan screen resolution 3840 by 240. And you'll get a vertical refresh rate of 120 hertz. So, here are all my resolutions. These will not kick out an image on this display. It's just not a high enough clock. You need This is only a 31 kilohertz monitor. 
Oh, it needs a minimum of 31 kilohertz for the screen. So with that being made, I switch to that and then I leave it like this. So I know, okay, this is what I want to do. Um, you'll want to play around with the scaling. Like you can go up to the actual 3840, but I find that the pixels get stretched out too much. So I bring up, I dial it back one. And if you can see here, I'm doing 224. Some, some consoles will want 240, but most of them are looking at 224. And I just keep integer scale on. So how does this look? Well, I'll give you guys, let's see if I have something here in my recent folder that I could show you guys. All right, we'll take a look. We'll take a quick look at Rystar. All right. Oh, no, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. That's a pretty good one. That's one people know very well. And when you're doing the 31 kilohertz with... I mean, excuse me, when you're doing 240p with 120 hertz, you'll actually get nice, natural, thick scan lines. And it's it's absolutely breathtaking. Um, unfortunately, my phone cannot show you how wonderful this looks, but this looks... It, it's similar to... Um, it's funny, it's interlaced, so you'll see a lot of flicking around. It's similar to what you would say... Um, like, if you put a filter on a really, really nice OLED, um, it's a similar kind of kind of image but it has more depth because obviously it's um well it's it's a crt so to me this is like the the pinnacle right here this is the top edge what you can get i mean you get some nice thick scan lines and you're running at double the frame rate now the thing is that what happens is when you first start playing in the 120 hertz you're going to start seeing some some jerkiness you're going to see some jerkiness in your image so what you'll want to do is You'll want to actually change a setting in the video. So go to settings. And I think it's under... Could it be under latency? No, it's not under latency. Uh, maybe it's just this on synchronization. Here it is. So I have V-Sync enabled. But if you look here, I changed it to swap interval 2. So once you set it to swap interval 2... That 120 hertz will behave like a 60 hertz game. So that's important out there. Now, if you guys are doing uh, PAL games, you're going to want to watch that because, you know, now you're talking about a 50 hertz game running 120 hertz. You might have issues there. Um, but now it looks absolutely gorgeous. And because you're running at a higher frame rate, your input delay is even lessened. If you have a fast enough CPU, you can even start using run ahead. But... This is how I play my games. I tried playing Mr. on the VGA monitor, and it looks okay. You use a scan doubler, and, and you have the scan lines, but the scan lines don't look as impressive, and because you're using a filter, you're actually darkening the image. Here, this is the image. You're getting the full scan lines. You're getting the full brightness. To me, this is the best of both worlds. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not great because it's emulation, but... Emulation has come a really long way. It's, I mean, it, are you really going to feel a difference? Maybe I wouldn't play a tournament on these things, but for just playing your usage at home with these games, not off and on, I really feel this is the way to go. I mean, this 120 hertz. I mean, it looks drop dead gorgeous. I, I, I wish I could tell you, um, I could show you with a proper camera how amazing this looks. But I know YouTube's going to kill this video with all the scan lines and stuff. But this looks unbelievable. It really does. I mean, it. it when I'm playing my games on this, it this looks this is ridiculous how how amazing it looks. But um, if you guys have any questions or comments, I could help you out or try to help you out. I mean, there's just it's just pretty straightforward in how it's done. You basically just go in there and you know a part of the reflection in the background. But with the scan lines, with the hertz, with RetroArch set up. This is going to be a tough way to beat anything. So anyone who had a CRT out there and you want to play these older games and make them look good and want to have proper scan lines, go for that mode line of 240p, 120hz. You won't be sorry. So I'll just shut up now here and let you guys look at the intro to Street Fighter uh, Super Turbo. And uh, yeah, have yourself a good one.